if you can believe it, Sony's PlayStation 4 will turn 7 years old this year. 7 years old! We'll be able to buy scratch cards and grow pubes soon, ooh. But all good things must come to an end. And with the PS5 on the horizon, now is a good time to go over the very best PlayStation 4 games ever made. If you disagree with us, cool. Let us know what you would have liked in the comments down below. Let's just celebrate the life of a great console and not start doing big old angry poos over life of Black Tiger not making the cut. As we gear up to recommend some of the best PlayStation 4 games to you, bear in mind that these are not exclusives, neither are they in any order apart from alphabetical. We're also excluding remasters and ports from all the generations for the sake of variety, so don't be sad when you notice that The Last of Us Remastered and GTA 5 are not included, because they otherwise would have made the cut. Remakes though are completely fine. Right then, let's do this, let's get into this thing because I am getting paid a penny per word. Astro Bot Rescue Mission Hands up if you thought that a VR platformer featuring the PlayStation 4's forgotten mascot would be not only one of the best virtual reality games ever made, but also one of the console's best as well. Now our hands are firmly down on this one, which made Astro Bot Rescue Mission even more of a joy. Appealing to anyone who's ever played a collectathon platformer, Astro Bot Rescue Mission tasks you with tracking down a ton of missing robots after an alien wrecks havoc. What are they like, eh? You'll visit many different locales with plenty of secrets to find and cuteness overloads that will make you want to vomit, but in the best way possible. A true shot of optimism straight into the heart of our all too cynical modern world. Bloodborne. From Software's Bloodborne was one of the first essential PlayStation 4 games, and it still is, so much so that expectations for a rumoured sequel are astonishingly high. You know your game is good when you punish your players so much that they want to come back for seconds. Although not a million miles away from the Dark Souls experience we know and love, well, hey, really in my case, Bloodborne took what made the series so great, gave it a quicker, more ruthless edge, and made something that felt different but absolutely still belonging to the From Software School of Pain. If you haven't played it yet, be sure to pick up its Game of the Year edition, which comes with DLC to extend your suffering. Rumours still persist that we might see a Bloodborne sequel for the PlayStation 5, so watch this space. Buy if you like Dark Souls, avoid if you don't like Dark Souls. Dead Cells An uncompromising blend of old and new conventions, Dead Cells is a love letter to the likes of Castlevania with a gorgeous aesthetic and suitably bastardy difficulty. While those with previous experience in the Metroidvania subgenre will come to grips with it pretty quickly, Everyone else may find the climb to be an uphill one here. Once you feel good at Dead Cells, however, it is irresistible. Every inch of progress feels like it should be celebrated, or when you finally overcome a boss that you'll later grow to view as nothing other than a slightly beefier grunt. There's a great sense of progress in Dead Cells as it's a PS4 single player game that you will sink dozens of hours into without even realising. Devil May Cry 5 while no two people will probably ever be able to agree on DMC, the return to the original narrative really pays off for Devil May Cry 5, the most explosive and possibly fun game in the franchise to date, and, let's not forget, most insane. With three protagonists to play as, and one who is just a fancy triple S factory, Devil May Cry offers a glorious cacophony of violence and metal that will transport you all the way back to your teenage years. If you're a dedicated Devil May Cry fan, you will totally be in your element here. It's like 3 met 4 and then turned the dial up to 11 on all fronts. Doom Eternal We've chosen Doom Eternal over 2016 on this list just because the former makes the latter so difficult to go back to. 2016 is still a magnificent game, don't get us wrong, yet Eternal is simply a step above in almost every regard. The action is faster and more experimental, the scale somehow even bigger, and you even get to shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. Better yet, Doom Slayer's backstory is fleshed out without ever being a distracting focus, it's just there to make you feel even more metal. Undoubtedly one of the best FPS titles ever made, this game proves that Doom is eternal. Dreams Is Media Molecule's Dreams even really a game? Yes, yes it is. Now we've got that long debate out of the way, it's better to focus on what Dreams isn't, rather than what it is. 
It's so much to so many different players. A game creation suite, a place to try out some unique ideas, and a bin for bad memes are just a few factors of the whole Dreams experience. Media Molecule took their sweet time to release Dreams, but you can see why. There's so much to it that it can almost be overwhelming, so whether you're a player or a maker, Dreams has got you covered. It's unlike anything else out there and possibly the most innovative PlayStation 4 game on this entire list. Final Fantasy VII Remake A game that was announced possibly a little too early, Final Fantasy VII Remake began to feel like a game that would never come out. It's surreal that it's actually now out, and even more so that it turned out to be really damn good. More of a remix of the original game than a straight remake, Final Fantasy VII Remake changes things up a lot, whether that's the combat, the storyline, or, most noticeably, the visuals. It nails almost everything new that it tries. Ostensibly focusing on just the first disc of the original game, the extra detail poured into Final Fantasy VII Remake makes it one of the PlayStation 4's best love letters to the RPG genre as a whole, and has left many excited for the chapters still to come. God of War this generation of gaming has been all about revitalising old franchises, putting a spin on well-worn conventions, and delivering something completely different with its combat system and so much more. God of War is possibly the most successful and accomplished example of that, a game that not only does its name justice, but also stands above as the best entry in the series to date. Now if this was a list in any order other than alphabetical, God of War would be the best PlayStation 4 game there is. Featuring a storyline well worth investing your time and heart into, a massive overhaul of combat, and a father-son dynamic at its centre that is completely captivating, God of War on PS4 should be your first buy as a new console owner. God of War is certainly one of the best games on the console, hell, and this might be a ballsy call, but God of War could go down as the best game of its generation. Horizon Zero Dawn A game so good it could get away with having a terrible name, Horizon Zero Dawn looked like it could at least be pretty interesting, but it wasn't expected to be this beloved. It feels and sometimes plays like Breath of the Wild's cousin, which isn't meant as an insult by any stretch. Horizon wears its influences proudly. If you want to know what Horizon is all about, here's the simple version. You hunt dinosaur robots in a post-apocalyptic setting as a warrior with pretty great hair. If you're searching for one of the most fun PlayStation 4 games that lets you climb up a robot giraffe, check out Horizon, which is quite simply one of the best open world games ever made. Here's hoping the second game lives up to it. The Last Guardian the Last Guardian was never truly going to live up to the lofty expectations that were thrust upon it after years and years of waiting. Team Ico are fantastic developers, but even they can't bring a game out of development hell without some problems. The Last Guardian certainly shows its age in some areas, but that doesn't stop it from being one of the PlayStation 4's best games. If you can look past some of its awkwardness though, The Last Guardian will totally charm you. Tale of a Boy and His Bird Dog Thing is an emotional, strangely relatable game with a good heart. In a world where guns and loot numbers fly everywhere, sometimes it's nice to try something else, and then cry, like a, like cry a stupid amount. Marvel Spider-Man It's been a long time for Spider-Man fans to wait to see a game that gets at least close to emulating the feeling of web swinging found in the PS2 Spider-Man. Marvel's Spider-Man provides exactly that, as well as a whole host of web-based content to keep you entertained for many more hours after its excellent story concludes. Playing as Spider-Man who's been around the block for a while, the game wastes no time in throwing you into the action. Action which feels like a sped up version of the Arkham series, with plenty of appearances from Marvel Legends and some of the most beautiful visuals you are likely to see in this generation, Regardless of if you have a PS4 Pro or not, Marvel Spider-Man is simply one of the best superhero games there is. Near Automata Near Automata, Far Automata, wherever you are Automata. A bewilderingly dense game with more layers than an onion wrapped up for winter, Near Automata is a real joy. 
you're always bound to come across something unexpected as once you think you've got it all figured out, the game changes itself. Basically, it's a real chameleon of a video game. Blending several genres and styles into one wild experience, Automata is an easy recommendation even if you haven't played its cult predecessor. Better yet, it keeps on giving, so once those end credits roll, be prepared for another go around. And then another. And another. And then some DLC. Basically, Automata is the gift that just keeps on giving in its own weird and wonderful ways. Persona 5 The wait was worth it. Persona 5 dropped early in 2017 to the sound of jubilant tears. A massive success, Atlas's massive RPG balances outright weirdness, a gripping story, and some seriously unforgiving gameplay to make it one of the most addictive games on the market. Finally breaking the franchise out of its cult status and into as close as the mainstream as such a balmy franchise can possibly be, Persona 5 sees you playing as Joker, who wakes up and discovers he has special powers, backed up by the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Just when you thought you were safe, Along came Persona 5 Royale to consume you all over again. Red Dead Redemption 2 Red Dead Redemption 2 promised to show that Rockstar were no longer content to sit around on their laurels with GTA Online, but did it deliver? Apart from some controls that take some getting used to and a couple of straight up bizarre mechanics, Red Dead Redemption 2 may well just provide the best open world to explore in all of gaming. When you're done skinning everything or completing the side quests, the story of Red Dead Redemption 2 is also something that you won't want to miss. Arthur Morgan is an exceptional protagonist and every inch the perfect stand-in for John Marston as he anchors a haunting tale of the end of outlaws that is surprisingly emotive. Once Red Dead Redemption 2 has you, say goodbye to pretty much everything else. Resident Evil 2 Remake it's hard to get remakes right, especially those for properties that are basically untouchable. Luckily for us though, Capcom approached the Resident Evil 2 remake with as much care and attention as a brand new game while also staying close to what made the original game such an undoubted favourite. A major overhaul sees Resident Evil 2 looking every inch the modern game while also playing like one of the most frightening games of its generation. No easy feat considering you're a lot less vulnerable this time out. Treasure the time you have before Mr. X lifts up that helicopter and stomps his way towards you in one of the scariest horror games your money can buy. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice What? It's another From Software game? You'd almost think we were masochists or something. Even without the obvious similarities to Soulsborne, Sekiro stands on its own merits, a deeply challenging stealth action hybrid where your reflexes are vital. Playing as the quiet guardian to the divine heir during the reimagining of the Sengoku period of ancient Japan, you are armed with a special shinobi prosthetic to give you an upper hand sorry, on enemies as well as the ability to resurrect. You better believe it does not make the game a cakewalk though. Featuring a tough learning curve thanks to the game's subtle rhythms of combat and that classic From lore that you can really dig into, this is one PS4 game you shouldn't let slink into the shadows. Titanfall 2 Even if it might not have hit sales expectations, it's hard not to look at Titanfall 2 as anything but a success. Respawn's follow-up managed to win back a lot of goodwill that its predecessor squandered, helped in no small part by one of the best FPS single-player campaigns seen in years, making it one of the best FPS games in the process. And it just kept giving once the credits rolled on the story too. Its multiplayer offers some of the purest, most addictive shooting we've ever had the pleasure of hollering with joy through. It does a wonderful job of making you feel like an utter badass. Zipping through the air and wreaking destruction inside a titan always feels fresh and exhilarating. Where's the third game, EA? Where is it? I'm not playing around anymore. I need it. Uncharted 4 a Thief's End Perhaps it leans too heavily on its cinematics over gameplay, and maybe it doesn't do anything new to further the gameplay of the series, but there's no denying that Uncharted 4 is an awesome spectacle. Naughty Dog seem to revel in throwing gorgeous vistas and extravagant set pieces at players every few minutes, making Uncharted 4 one of the best PS4 games at showing off the console's potential. With perhaps the strongest story in the franchise to date, it's easy to get sucked into the family drama of Uncharted 4. 
There's also the traditional amount of death-defying stunts and jumps to make, but the game's real highlight, definitely playing Crash Bandicoot. What Remains of Edith Finch What Remains of Edith Finch isn't going to be for everyone. It's short and fairly basic at the gameplay department, but if you can allow it, the game will leave a lasting impact on you. It's been a long time since we played it, and yet it's never far from our minds. Edith Finch is a modern fable, a bittersweet tale of family and loss. While you could easily pigeonhole it into the walking simulator genre, that doesn't really do it any justice. It's a moving, deeply affecting few hours with so many stories, all beautifully told, that seem like they come from a personal place of the developers. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt as a game so densely packed with content and sex, The Witcher 3 is a role-playing game that's going to tide you over for a long, long time. Having sunk a hundred hours into the main game with Blood and Wine, its second expansion still to tuck into, we don't have to say goodbye to Geralt anytime soon, which is good because we managed to get the worst possible ending. It's nearly four years later and we're still not over it, because we will never be over it. If you like anything Bethesda have ever done but just wanted it to be better, take a look at CD Projekt Red's epic fantasy and prepare to say goodbye to your family for a couple of months. Be sure to check out the Family Matters side quest as soon as you can, that thing is a masterpiece. The Witcher 3 is not just one of the best games on PS4, nor is it just one of the best single player games, it's also one of the best games of all time. And there you have it, that is our list in alphabetical order of the best PlayStation 4 games. Did you agree with the list? Did you disagree? If there's anything you would have put in that you felt we left out, please feel free to sign off in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider checking out some of the others on the channel. And if you really liked the video, if you could consider hitting that like button, tapping on that subscribe little button down there with your vulture's beak and slapping the notification bell. That would be a holy trinity of wonderfulness. We hope to see you in the next video. We hope to see you across all the other social medias on screen now. Go for it. You know, you want to. But until then, until then, cuckoo.